ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋ ਗੇਟ ਦਾ ਬੁੱਕ 126 ਇਨ ਯੂਰ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਬੁੱਕ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦਾ ਲਾਂਚਿੰਗ ਟੈਕਸਟ the uh, the survivor calls if you remember it was our model for the writing now uh, you were you have the working in groups you have uh, you have uh, made your plans and groups i suppose that it all or every group had their the same content but everyone has written in his own uh, handwriting or his own uh, texting whatever uh, but i mean the content were the same regarding each group and you have posted on your lms if you have a problem with posting or if you found that the pa- the, the page is uh, is closed can you tell me so i can i can reopen it for you again yeah you have a problem with the ki- good morning guys uh, hello <laughs> hi hmm ah, the muhammad right guys all of you yes. have uploaded the the planner the plan of the uh, your writing or not that it seems that i need to re- remind you again uh each step has a mark and uh, the whole writing together this mark I'm good going morning to, miss good morning good morning i'm going to add the whole mark of the writing including the this uh, this the last step the final one that you are going to do today which is the final writing uh i'm going to add this mark to your quarter exam because in the quarter the online exam of course it would be difficult for you to to write to answer the writing section in online it will take a lot of time or do you do you want to add this question in the online exam No. Okay, no. now you have this. Yes, I heard your voice. So you didn't answer me. All of you have uploaded your plan on the LMS or not? Yes. Okay, I need this. What about the others? I need only one from each group at least. Have you uploaded your planner on the LMS? Yes, yes, my group did. No one had made a problem. Some people told me that it's it I can't it's closed. If it is still closed, tell me. I don't think so. Okay, I I now I give you um uh, another second chance. This is the second one by the way. If you have a problem, just tell me right now because the uh, uh each step you will get a mark and all the, I will gather or collect all those marks of the writing including the final one, the final writing, I add it to the quarter exam. 10 marks like we I did last time. Okay, how to organize your uh uh your claim now you have a planner and the planner you put the claim what did the your the your main claim you put the counter claims more than once you refute them how to what do you mean of refuting the counter claim can someone tell me how to refute a counter claim a counter claim miss how to refute a counter claim the meaning of counter claim not the meaning how to refute a counter claim what the meaning of refuting a counterclaim oh, okay the counterclaim is the opposing idea now how to refute it what the meaning of refuting it like to say the points of weakness yes excellent great to refute it it means to say the points of weakness of this counterclaim and prove that it is wrong by mentioning to prove that the counterclaim is wrong you mentioned the, the points of weakness is it enough only to mention the the points of weakness no you have to mention the point of strength first and then mention the points of weakness by mentioning the point of weakness this is the how you are refuting the counterclaim proving to your reader that this opposing idea is wrong or not correct uh now the i told you that the the cost of survival is uh the cost of survival is your model now you had the planner and then the planner also you had you have written the evidence you have written examples you have written quotation said by authorities one famous uh, one of the famous characters you have uh, collects or gathered facts and facts statistics where where are facts in numbers and then the conclusion now how can i organize all this to have uh, get my writing you have the uh, sufficient material to build a successful Uh, argumentative text 
how to organize it, this is how you are going to, to, to organize your information. The first thing, we have the introduction. This is the, where you write uh, uh, one paragraph, you just uh, um, uh, introducing your claim in it. Uh, in, in our sample or our model, he introduced the claim here at the, the last line. It's up to you. You want to introduce in the middle of the paragraph, you want to introduce it at the end, at the beginning, it's up to you. The, here the claim, what is it? The adventurer should be uh, the one to foot the bell, to pay the, the bell of rescuing them. So in the introduction, we, you introduce your main claim. This is the most important thing, to capture your, your reader and to tell your reader what is this text is, uh, is going around. Then you move to what? To mention the reason. What the meaning of reason? Why did you choose this claim? Why did you choose this claim? Here he said what? Two big news stories of 2014 involved rescue missions. He, he started to think about this claim because this thing happened in 2014 and uh, this thing teased him a lot. He, 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 he thought that to know the, um, uh, uh, those people who are putting themselves in this situation, they should build the, the bell, not the rescue workers, not the country, not the government. And then he started to support his reason by doing what the anecdote, the, the, like um, mentioning brief stories to mention brief story that happened uh, in reality to support the reason. Here he mentioned two stories, one of them for the family that were stuck in Mexico and another one with a caver in, in Germany. He mentioned two brief stories. As you can see, brief stories, not long story. M my concern is to support, not to, uh, to write in details the stories. So uh, he, he write every one of them in only three lines. That's why I, I'm telling you brief story. So first, I start by the claim, and then the reason why it should in, in another paragraph. Why it should this claim, and I support it with two stories that happened that made me think to write this. The stories that made you think to write about this claim. Here, I, uh, by the beginning of the second paragraph, we, we have moved to the body. The body started by the reason and story to support this reason in one paragraph. In the third paragraph, We are still in the body of the uh, uh, of the, the text. He starts to present the counterclaim, the opposing idea. At the beginning, Miss, yes, at the beginning. Uh, then I write, hey, can you mute yourself, please? Uh, wait, can you mute yourself? Thank you. In the second. Uh, uh, the third paragraph, uh, he started to present it as a counterclaim. Uh, where, where should I mention the facts and the evidence later? The facts and the evidence, you are going to, you can mention them to, to refute the counterclaim. Uh, the evidence, you can mention them to refute the counterclaim. Here, he presented the first counterclaim. He had two counterclaim here, two opposing ideas. He mentioned the first one and he refuted two in the first in the, the first two lines. When he said it's easy to argue that people should be stopped from putting themselves in danger, I guess it's, e it's easier to say that. However, this would be impossible to enforce. We cannot enforce them to uh, make them stop putting themselves in, um, uh, in danger. So he, he mentioned the counterclaim and he refuted. He uh, mentioned the point of weakness that is impossible to do that, to enforce them to do that. And then he mentioned the fact, this is how to refute, he is refuting the counterclaim, and at the same time he is supporting his claim. He said, usually when people need to be rescued, it's because something unexpected happened, and this is true. You will not need a help unless there is something unexpected happened to you. And the, the, the green underlined uh, lines, here he mentioned what facts, but a number. That what we we call it what is that a text, where he said only 2,876 needed help. The rescue of the family um, is stranded at the sea cost uh, $636,000. When he said getting the caver safely to the surface involved with 780, he mentioned real numbers. So this is facts and number. What is he doing here? Supporting mentioning facts to support his claim and to refute the, the, the counterclaim that he, he mentioned. 
Uh, the one in purple, another fact that, that figure does not include pay for the rescue workers. This number that has been paid, not uh, the, 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 the number that have been paid to the, 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 uh, the workers or the rescue workers is not included in this number. This means this mean that the number is uh, bigger than that. Now we are still in the body and this is the third paragraph. In the fourth paragraph, we are still also in the body, this one. He mentioned here evidence to support the main claim when he said people who take extreme risk should pay for their rescue operation. Um, uh, then he supported with facts and example. He said some states have passed laws to reflect this belief in the, and then he mentioned in New uh, Hampshire, this is an example where they did this. So what he mentioned here, this is a fact and he supported the evidence that he mentioned here. Followed by a real example. Happened where? In a, in a state called New Hampshire. We are still in the body and we, he moved to the fifth paragraph. Now, remember, to remind you again, he started in the introduction, he introduced the claim. And then the second, in the second paragraph, he started to mention what? The, the reason why he chose, it, uh, uh, chose to talk about this claim. And he supported it with the brief real story. In the third paragraph, he introduced the, count, the first counterclaim and refuted. In the, the, third, the fourth paragraph, he, he started to give evidence to support his, his uh, counterclaim, uh, connected with facts and real example. In the fifth paragraph, he present the second counterclaim. Uh, he, if you remember, everyone asked each group to write more than one counterclaim and to refute each one of them. What did the counterclaim here, the second one? Uh, not everyone agreed that people should be responsible for costs of their rescue. This is another opposing idea. And here, in the, the, uh, he followed it with what? With something to refute it. And the thing is what? It authority evidence. He brought here a quotation said by someone. He said, Howard Powell, this is a, 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 an authority person. Uh, a spokesman of the National Association for Search and Rescue says, and put his words between two quotations. He put his words between two quotations. He mentioned what he said, and then he uh, uh, supported with the, his point of view, mentioning your opinion, I mean. And then he brought another authority evidence. He said, and the second lieutenant in the California Air National Guard who helped rescue the family, and then he mentioned the word that he said. Of course, here, if you, if you can remember, he put here, what do you call this sign? What do you call these dots over each other? What do you call them? Colon. Yeah, that's right. Uh, to introduce what? Quotation. He used the colon hint to introduce quotation. He, he, he wrote the two quotation in two ways. One of them said, he says, and followed by comma, open a two quotation, and end it with follow stop. And second one, he, uh, he put the colon, followed by the, the, the quotation. Uh, this is one of the ways to support the, uh, 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 or to refute the counterclaim that he mentioned uh, by using one of the authority evidence. So the authority evidence that you have brought, you can use it to refute the counterclaim in one of the paragraphs. And then here in the, in the sixth paragraph where we are still in the, um, uh, we are still in the, the body of the, the, the text, he refute again the counterclaim number two, but the, depending on his opinion. He said, however, we, he used here, however, this is an introductory word, because the, the, um, uh, there is a shifting here, uh, a shifting in the paragraph. He said, arguments against the charging for rescue miss an important point. So here he is mentioning here what? The, the, the point of weakness. Many rescue workers have lost their own lives saving others. This is one of the, the, the weak point uh, to refute the counterclaim. And he followed it with the um, um, extra opinion and he used the in addition as to connect the two uh, sentences together. And finally, the two line, this is the conclusion where you end your text. And what should I write in the conclusion? Just restate the claim. Your claim that you have mentioned above, you have to restate it again. What do you mean of restate? To say it again a different way to paraphrase it and write it again in two lines only. Let's read it. In the end, 
used well in the end. What is this? This is we call this transition word. However, in addition, all this transition word we are going to, to study after this thing. Uh, in, in the end, uh, taxpayers cover the cost of rescue for those who put themselves at risk. Maybe there are better uses for our money. He, he didn't add any more information, I think. He said the same thing, but in a different way. Any question about this? No. Okay, now I, I, no. I wish you are... Yes, tell me if you have a question. Did I miss anything that you have written in your plan? And you didn't find it here? No. No. Yes, sure. So now it will be easy for you to write your by yourself, by the way. You will not work in group anymore. Now you have your plan in front of you and you start to organize your things like, like this. You can use this as a, as a guide for you. I will... Uh, Miss this session will be on it. Yes, sure. Oh, have you ever f didn't find any of the, the session on the elements? I'm just uh, asking. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. I, I, I post it directly after I finish. So please, can you, when I finish, can you please, okay. yes, uh, play the video again and start to write those notes in your, in your book to guide you how to uh, organize your, uh, your text. And then I will write it as a homework, of course, or, a, or assignment to start to write your, uh, your argumentative text according to your claim, and you post it on your LMS. One week is enough for you to finish your writing? Or yes, less? Yes. Or okay. less? Or less? No. <laughs> Halat, okay. The, no. This means this next, next Thursday, next Thursday, you will, you, you, I will close the submission and I will not reopen it again, I promise, okay? I promise I will not reopen, I promise myself, I'm not promising you, <laughs> I will not reopen again. But let's talk about the transition word, and this is one of the important um, words. You should learn how to use them. First, what, what is the meaning of transition word? We place where the sentence or paragraph meaning shifts slightly. Suppose that you, you are going to, a change will happen in the meaning of the paragraph or you want to move to another point, you want to introduce another point, uh, thing, so it's better to use this transition word. It will make your writing flow smoothly, it will make your writing more interesting and will also um, clarify the, for the reader what you want to introduce, a new idea? or you want to add something else, another point to the same idea, or you want to, to mention the, the effect of the thing that you have mentioned. So all these words will help your reader to understand the, um, what are you introducing or the shifting that happened in your text. Now, I brought for you, I think, four or three uh, a table where you have more than one word for each usage. Suppose that you want to uh, mention the, um, the causality or the cause and effect. Now you mention something happened and then you want to mention the effect of this thing that happened. So you can use one of this word. You have accordingly, uh, consequently, for this reason, hence, therefore, thus, use one of them. But just remember, you, are, you should put a comma after each one of them. If you, if you will start at the... Um, starting the, um, your, your sentence with, or if you use it in the middle. Now you want to emphasize, it means you want to assure or confirm what you have said. Above all, certainly, clearly, indeed, in fact, in short, obviously, of course, you are confirming what you, ha you, are, you have said. Uh, the implication, it means that if you want to expand or extension uh, uh, the thing that you are speaking about. You can use again, also, um, apparently, besides, equally important. Uh, finally, this is wrong, of course. Okay, I will erase it, don't worry. One second. Because finally, it comes in the end, usually. Okay. Uh, first, second, etc. If you you are putting the um, uh, mention list of things, so you can and you want to speak them in details. Uh, further, you want to add something uh, to the point that a previous point. 
in addition or moreover uh, intention it means that uh, you are um, mentioning the the intention of the the thing that you have written for this purpose in order to do this to this end with this in mind uh, you want to speak about location beyond here nearby opposite uh, closure uh, ending ending your your paragraph or sorry your text the whole text in conclusion in sum on the whole to summarize you want to speak about similarity two similar things you are speaking about them likewise or similarly uh, you want to add details uh, or to specify a special detail you can say specially in particular in regard to namely specifically or to say to uh, enumerate to enumerate means you will list uh, uh, things or list names to enumerate what i'm saying you start to, to introduce a list to enumerate what i'm saying you can start the list of names finally uh, concession means to compromise. What do you mean of compromise? Uh, suppose that you are writing about something uh, and you are um, uh, claiming that uh, at least you can do one of these things. Can you? Did you understand me? You are introducing a solution, a lot of yes, solution, yes. yes, a lot of solution, and uh, and then you are choosing at least one of them to just end this argument. So at least you, should, you can do this. So you can use one of those words, at any rate or at least. At least make this thing, at least uh, apply this uh, law. You want to introduce examples. You can say, for example, for an instance, to demonstrate, to illustrate. Uh, you speak about the time afterward, at the same time, before, earlier. I mean, you are mentioning uh, events and you want to put them in order so you can use one of those things if the thing happened before or, or, or after eventually means finally in, in the meantime happen the same time sometimes later next preceding this uh, simultaneously it means that the, the, the things happened at the same time together soon uh, you want to show a comparison and a contrast yeah, and you will speak about a point and then uh, you are moving or making a shift to a thing that is opposite or on the other side, you can use this one of those words. However, in contrast, in relation, uh, Mahmoud Isam, please mute yourself. Mahmoud Isam, mute yourself, please. Okay, uh, however, in contrast, in relation to, uh, nevertheless, on the other hand, and still. And the last, the, or eventually, or finally, uh, the interpretation, it means that you want to explain the thing that you are saying. Uh, fortunately, it means like, um, luckily, interestingly, significantly, and, what is this, just to hide this, yes, and surprisingly. Uh, you can use all these words to um, you can use all these words to introduce uh, or to uh, to make a shifting in your writing as if you are connecting your paragraph together or your sentence together. Any question about that? Uh, it is, uh, it is mm. easy. Really. Okay, now mm. I, I yes I can ask if, if you want to ask about something related to your writing. So can you ask it now and instead of sending a lot of messages and again and again, again and again, I'm not accepting the homework through the WhatsApp. Please, I don't, I can't accept it through. The, how can I correct it? So please stop sending the homework in the WhatsApp. If the if the, uh, you can upload it, send to me. I can fix this problem if I can reopen it again. But don't send the homework in my WhatsApp. I will not accept it. So please make sure that if you have sent any of the homework through the WhatsApp, that to upload it again in the LMS because I will not count it. Some people have joined late. Time. Um, Uh, if you have one of the people have any problem with the group that you are working together, you're, um, uh, someone didn't finish the plan, 
um, so a group that didn't finish a plan. It's your time. If you have an excuse to tell me right now, because after the session, I start to check all the plans. No. What, guys? What's the problem with you? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? No, said no. no. And then why are no. you? You are not answering. What is this? And then, Hello, Miss Wala. Hello. I'm here, Miss. I'm not sleeping. Fine, fine. Now no one is answering. Um. Uh, now when we come to the the application, I start by the question, Miss. How can I do this, Miss? Uh, as, uh, X didn't do the plan. Uh, y didn't do the plan. I can't. Just it. I I need. If you have a question, ask it right now, so we can solve the same all the problem together. Miss, anyone don't want to talk, you can uh, uh, hmm. uh, ask to unmute. Unmute. Why? She, okay. Suppose that you, you don't have a problem. I'm giving them the chance, but I will not. Yes, I will not give them another chance. That's it. Type for the quiz for the Sunday quiz. Yeah. I have you read the info I, I that I I posted on the LMS. Not yet, Miss. Uh, only Noor. Noor is the only yes, one who's talking. Did. Only Noor and Zena sometimes today. <laughs> uh, Yasin Amr. Yasin. Yes, Miss. Yes, have you read the info of the uh, of the quiz? Sunday, the one for Sunday? Yes, quiz for Sunday online. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, great. And what about um, uh, Ammar? Have you read the info of the quiz? Ammar? Mm, Ammar? Not yet. Not yet. Great. Someone tell me. Iman, have you read the info? Yes, Miss. Yes, can you can you tell us yes what will be included in the quiz? Okay, uh, the the column and the German semicolon. Yes. Uh, and the vocab I think. Mm. Oh, the vocab uh, that we talked yesterday. 